Welcome back everyone to Pokemon Ash Grey. I'm Yummy Ash. Currently we're in Mount Moon and in the last video, uh, we, well we entered Mount Moon, we went through a route and we faced a lot of trainers, kicked their asses, got a bunch of experience and currently the team is looking at a, uh, well we've got a Butterfree, a Pidgeotto and a Pikachu all around the level 15, level 16 mark. Um, we're going to run away from the Zubat, it's too little experience for the risks it can pose, hitting a Confuse Ray or even let's say a Poison Sting would suck badly. And I'm not going to risk that on maybe 70 or 80 experience now. Sandshrew is also an annoying little fuck. <laughs> Far too high defense. And I'm not even going to waste my time with that. So, uh, let's, uh, we'll get running around here. Uh, can't go that way. That just leads to, um, to a dead end. And, wow, that's where I got my nugget. So, going up there was just a bunch of experience that I gained. It didn't really give me much in terms of progressing the storyline. But I managed to get some experience and a nugget out of it. So, I guess that it was worth it in the end there. Um, regarding the Butterfree, we're going to swap him out, actually. We're going to uh, swap back to uh, Pikachu. Pikachu's the, the main centerpiece of this. You know, he's Ash's ultimate Pokemon. When I say ultimate, it's his main Pokemon. Charizard was pretty fucking badass. Is that the... No, that's a different scientist guy, right? I hope he doesn't send out a Magnemite, because that would suck so bad. Because all my Pokemon suck against a Magnemite as well. Like, what are the chances that my whole team sucks against pretty much any hard Pokemon? Rock, Steel, freaking sucks. Oh, he brought electric Pokemon. Bloody brilliant. Super nerd. Super nerd Joven. Sounds like a nerdy name. Joven. Ma Magnemite. No. Uh, actually, Joven sounds very foreign. Sounds sounds interesting. Hey, I'm Joven. Yeah. Um, I have no idea what to do against this thing. I hope it's not steel, right? Is it steel? Yeah, it's freaking steel. My Thunderstruck will probably do more damage against this thing. Oh, awesome. Thank you. G good old Pikachu. That's Spike Tail. Paralyzes everything. Don't touch him. See how much that does. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Thundershock will do the trick. You know what? By the looks of things right now, Thundershock just does damage against everything that it's ineffective against. So, I'll just send out Pikachu and use Thundershock if I'm ever in doubt. Does the job, right? So, I don't see why not. Uh, anyway, we're going to probably grind this Pikachu up to a decent level. And when I say a decent level, not too high that he doesn't obey me. I'm pretty sure it's level 30 that he'll stop obeying me. If it's level 20, it's far too low. It has to be level 30 at this point in the game. Uh, he's began charging power. I don't like that. Let's uh, hit him with like an electric attack and give him more electric power. Because I'm stupid. Please don't, don't, please don't use like a hyper beam on me. <laughs> Oh Jesus, if a, if a level 11 Voltorb used a Hyper Beam on me, I would eat my shirt. I would take this shirt off and I would start eating it in front of you all. But that's not going to happen, so don't worry. Blackouts! Isn't that like the name of a song from a band? Maybe it's the name of a band. I don't know. I, I used to listen to a lot of band music back in my day. And Blackout, The Blackout, I'm pretty sure it was a band or something. Pretty, pretty good. Is he a sophomore band? You know, it does. It really doesn't matter. Uh, let's uh, go up here. Probably another ladder. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Team Rocket. I wasn't prepared for this. Prepare for trouble, twerp. We want the Moonstone to power up our Pokemon. Ready or not. Uh, Jesus Christ, why did my game freeze? D damn it. Spyware Terminator, it's all your fault. Okay. It's, look it's looking good. There we go. Team Rocket cohorts will like to battle. What do you mean cohorts? It's JC and James. Don't call them cohorts. They're awesome. Alright, um, maybe down 14 HP here, but that's not too much of a problem. Still hit a lot of damage with a Thundershock. And even if I do get down to yellow bar health, I'll just use the potion anyway. There's no one around here to give me a free heal, unfortunately. I know there's a guy outside of Mount Moon, but I'm not going to travel all the way back. I'll encounter too many wild Pokemon. It's too frustrating to encounter wild Pokemon, in my opinion, so I don't want to do that. And, uh, a coughing. Um, yeah, I, d I don't have to worry about getting poisoned from a physical attack on the coughing, because he doesn't have the ability to poison me. So I'll be fine. And if I get poisoned now, I will slap myself for, for just completely contradicting myself. No need to use a potion right now. It'll be a waste right now. I can use it outside of battle. Because I'm too quick compared to the coughing. You won't get an attack off in time. Fine, take the Moonstone for yourself. Oh, are they going to give me it before they go? It's time, Team Rocket blasted off. You may have won this round, but we'll be back. Do I get the Moonstone? I guess they just didn't find it. They suck. This is a potion. Here you go, Pikachu. He looks pretty happy. 
I'd be happy too. You're an awesome trainer, like moi. A sexy awesome trainer. Oh, is there random water in this place? What the hell? Why is there water in this mountain? I'm here to catch some cave dwelling Pokemon. Okay. Whatever you say, youngster. I think you're cool with your hat on sideways? Why you're not? That was cool 10 years ago. You're out of the trends, mofo. Let's kill this little rat. Reminds me of youngster Joey and his ratter. Was it Joey? The youngster, the first youngster you face, and then he just constantly rings you about his ratter. It's hilarious, it really is. Don't ever take his phone number. <laughs> oh my god, I got critical hitted. Oh, I remember my fire red walkthrough and I faced Gary's Rattata. And I think it took down one of my Pokemon because it hit a crit and it was ridiculous. Pretty sure it took down like my Chan Million or something. It was insane. I was so mad. I freaked out. And then another battle, memorable battle I faced was in my uh, Emerald walkthrough. I faced a, a Kingdra and it used double team like six times. Couldn't hit it to save my life and it started rate destroying all my Pokemon using like Hyper Beams and whatnot. It was, it was an intense battle. So yeah, they're just throwing those two out there. Those are two pretty good walkthroughs I did on Pokemon. Uh, I did, uh, I've done, well, I've done Fire Red, Soul Silver, Emerald, Black, and Black and White 2. So I've done a bunch of walkthroughs. I went, oh wow, when I say Black and White 2, I did about 15 parts on that. I stopped doing it because Black and White 2 was far too similar to Black and White 1. And I just didn't see a point in, um, actually, we'll get the level here. It's not even I didn't see the point. I just didn't enjoy it enough to want to finish it. There was nothing really too special. It was like playing a new Call of Duty game. They're too similar to the previous one. There's there's not much difference to them. And I find that quite boring. I like to, I like a more newish experience, something that's quite changed. And if something seems like a filler game or seems to just base it's the majority of itself from previous games, it's not that fun to me, so it goes with all Call of Duty games. I play Call of Duty games for zombies and not the multiplayer anyway. Don't know why I'm talking about Call of Duty on a Pokemon video. Just randomly going off topic as usual. Uh, Pikachu's hit level 18, which is awesome. He's getting pretty strong right now. I will beat this girl with it. When I say beat this girl with it, I'm going to pick up Pikachu and start hitting her with it. That's what it's called, beating a girl with your Pikachu. Yeah, remember that. No, no, none of my Pokemon are safe. It's not throwing them, throwing them at random girls. Um, let's use Thundershock. I like how my Thundershock is in yellow text to the right in its PP because it's getting low. Kind of like uh, resembles the electric nature of the move. Beautiful. I'm glad double slap hit two times because it is a double slap. One, two. So sure that hits two to five times. So I never understood it why it would hit more than twice when it's called double slap. I'm not mad. Here's money. Now please go. Okay, bye bye. I want the Pokeball down here. That's why I came all this way. Oh, I got an escape rope. Awesome. I'd love to get out of this horrible place with its bajillions of random Pokemon. They're driving me crazy. Oh, got a bug trainer. You know what? Uh, I think he's going to heal me because he hasn't even engaged a battle with me, but we'll swap to a, a Pidgeotto real quick. Now he's going to fight me. Freaking brilliant. This is the top of Mount Moon. Zubat don't come up here. Thank God for that. I hate Zubat. I'd rather face Onyxes and Geodudes. At least they'll give good experience. And you know Geodude's awesome because it evolves into Golem if you trade it. Golem's cool. Oh man, I got a Gust. I thought I swapped to Pidgeotto, but apparently I swapped to Butterfree. I'm so silly. I'm, I'm such a plonker. I'm going to swap to uh, Pidgeotto right after this. Metapod, yeah, we'll swap to, um, swap to Pidgeotto. I don't know why I'm trying to get Butterfree. I'm probably... I'm going to release this soon. <laughs> if, if it's going to make me do what it did in the anime. If Ash is going to be like, Butterfree, I release you. Goodbye. <sighs> Reminds me of a Dexter's Laboratory episode when he releases all his robots. He's like, I release you, you're all free. And they're all stood in the road. They're like, free, 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 all celebrating. And then like a van hits them all and they all explode and die. It was tragic. I felt so bad for Dexter's machines. <laughs> Poor things. Okay, that was, that was an easy battle. One hitting everything. Freaking bleh. Maybe I am too high level. I can't help it. I'm not, I'm not going to grind these off screen, definitely not. They're currently a bit too high, I think. I'm having an easy time against most things right now. Even beat Brock when I wasn't supposed to, so you know what? That just says to me there's no point in grinding these anymore. Especially when my Pikachu's already level 28. We'll use, we'll use another potion anyway. I've only got four left. It was a good thing I bought two extra potions, because I am taking quite serious damage here. And I do think if my Pokemon were much lower level, I'd be having a really hard time in this cave. 
I thought Zubaz don't come up this high. That kid lied to me. You lying little weasel, you. Don't trust kids in mountains, guys. Don't trust them. They lie about everything. Ruin Maniac Gunther? I thought he was a hiker, not a Ruin Maniac. Ah, oh, Jesus, it's a Diglett. Diglett is freaking little... I hate Diglett. hate him so much. Meh. I saw this really cool animation of Diglett where he used uh, Slash. He's got, like, no arms, and he just grows these two little hands, and it's like... <laughs> starts causing massive, like, earthquakes and shit. So cool. And then Doug Trio, you know the three heads? Just think, underneath that little bit of ground right there are three big, black, muscly men's bodies in little speedos hugging each other. You not seen that meme? You probably don't want to. That's Doug Trio. <laughs> I don't know why, I just did a double wink. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I'm giving you guys some bad images. I, I am so sorry. I, I really am. It's not, it's not fair. It's just, it's just not fair giving you these images. Don't know how my Thundershot missed right there. It's a bit of a joke, really. Please, can you hit your Thundershot this time, Pikachu? Thank you. I guess Diglett is quite a small target. You could miss. It's not really a big, big little guy, is he? Uh, that was so contradicting. Big little guy. I dig it. I see what you did there, Mr. Mustachio. I must ask you a question, but I'll shave it for later. You get it? You know, must ask you a question, but I'll shave it. No, uh, you know what? No more beard puns. N no more, okay? I will save them for a special bearded video. Freaking Zubats. I hate these guys so much. Okay, well, I can see I'm at the edge of the world right now. It's all black on the right hand side. Would it be nice to add some type of texture? Maybe some rocky layout or something so it doesn't look like just black? Make it look like it's part of the cave. That would have been pretty cool. Just just hinting at that. Just, just saying. I like how a lot of things are different in terms of the layout of the game as well. Uh, I, I do think if this was the original game based like this, it would have been bloody fantastic. Obviously, it takes away some freedom in terms of the Pokemon you catch and stuff. But I'm not complaining. Uh, is that a Moonstone? Yes, please. I'm not complaining because... All the cinematics and the added features makes it so damn cool. It, it really does. Uh, I was so sure that I ran past the dead end a minute ago. And if you click around there, you get like an item. You know, when you randomly find items on the floor. So sure I, I went past it. But you know what? Whatever. Hello. Oh, get, really? Again? You guys just don't give up. All right, twerp. We're here for that moonstone. Hand it over. We couldn't get it for ourselves. So we had to wait for you to get it. The Clefairy are using metronome. It caused a huge explosion. Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again! Bing! Ah, here's the scientist guy. You're a bit slow, Seymour. You found the Moonstone. The Clefairy must pray to it. Thank you for saving the Clefairy from Team Rocket. I decided to live here with the Clefairy. I will become one of them. I'm going to paint myself pink and grow big ears and a tail. I will be a Clefairy. It's been my dream. And someday I'll travel to the stars with Clefairy. Man, this guy is... Freaking obsessed with Clefairy, isn't he? You little weirdo, you. <laughs> Alright, what's this uh, Pokeball right here? Oh, an Antidote. What a terrible find. I would have preferred anything else. I already got a few of those. And let's get out of this place. Jesus, I'm so happy to be out of Mount Moon. Freaking hate that place. Hate mountains in general, to be honest with you. Um, let's see what this sign says. Uh, Gary. What did you just say, Gary? <laughs> Gary! I hate you, Gary! Ugh, let's grab, let's grab the Pokeball. Found a, found Raw. Not, not really a great move. I don't really want Pokemon to run away from me. What's that machine up there? I, I have to, oh, I have to grab it from going through the city. Okay. Alright, Cerulean City. Oh, Jesus, there seems to be a bit of drama going on. Can I just go in the Pokemon Center real quick? Thank you. Thank you very much. And heal, heal up my, my Pokemon's team. It's very important to heal up my team. Okay, um, I'm going to, let just let him heal up, I'm going to probably swap something around, uh, actually no, no, we'll keep Pikachu out, Pikachu's doing pretty good, it's looking pretty strong, and that's all that matters to me, um, oh my god, there's a giant dugong on the gym, that is a really cool added touch you just added there, little game, let's grab some stuff on the mat real quick, 
Grab some, hopefully some Great Balls or Super Potions would be awesome. Um, <gasps> Repels! This is the best day ever. I will grab freaking 15 of these. As you can tell, I really like Repels, guys. They're awesome. Um, don't need any Pokeballs. I do need about another, let's say another three potions. If I need more than three, then I'll go crazy. I, I want to save my money. I think spending your money too too much is a bit cray cray. cray. Uh, Repels, on the other hand, just are so useful. <laughs> I came here to earn a Cascade badge, but the trainers just gave it to me without battling. I always wish getting gem badges was always a Caesar. You you got it for nothing? You lucky, lucky little gun, you. Okay, um... Alright, in the next video, we'll go and see what this all this drama line is about. We'll go talk to them. We'll go try and get the gym badge, and we'll go down Nugget Bridge. If it is Nugget Bridge in this mod, I do not know. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I will see you all again very soon. Goodbye, everyone.